to have you here with us on 10 Tampa Bay. I hope you enjoyed your 4th of July. I'm Courtney Robinson. I'm Eric Glasser in for Josh. Lots of new developments as we come on the air for you this evening. First, new details on that deadly shooting at a 4th of July parade in Illinois. Investigators say a seventh person has died from their injuries. Nearly 30 others were hurt and are still being treated. This all comes as investigators reveal how the gunman was able to carry out the attack and how long he'd been planning it. CBS's Marissa Perlman has the latest from Highland Park. Police say the man they believe carried out Monday's deadly parade shooting, 21-year-old Robert Cremo III, fired off at least 70 rounds from a high-powered rifle that he legally obtained. We do believe Cremo pre-planned this attack for several weeks. He accessed the roof of a business via a fire escape ladder and began opening fire on the innocent Independence Day celebration goers. The investigation reveals the shooter was disguised in women's clothing as he carried out the attack. Investigators do believe he did this to conceal his facial tattoos and his identity and help him during the escape uh, with the other people who were fleeing the chaos. Following the attack, Cremo exited the roof. He dropped his rifle and he blended in with the crowd and he escaped. Officials say he then walked to his mother's home and drove away in her vehicle. He was apprehended about nine hours later during a traffic stop. Police say they found another rifle in his car and more legal firearms at his home in a nearby town. Now investigators are pouring through videos of the incident and Cremo's social media accounts. At this point, we have not developed a motive from him. We have no information to suggest at this point it was racially motivated, motivated by religion or any other protected status. The victims ranged in age from 8 to 85. Among those killed, Jackie Sundheim, who worked at a local synagogue, and great-grandfather Nicholas Toledo, who was visiting from Mexico. He was shot to death while watching the parade from his walker. Investigators believe the gunman acted alone and the shooting was random. They also said they're looking into concerning videos and comments made before the shooting. The city's mayor says she'll announce details of a fund being set up to help support survivors sometime later this week.